Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson, and this is the Maki -E Vlog. Today we are with Blink Charging, and we're going to be speaking to Mike Battaglia and talk about all the great stuff that they just announced at CES 2022. So let's go. Okay, as you guys can all see, I'm here in Denver, Colorado. Mike is joining us from the booth at CES in Las Vegas. We couldn't go because of COVID. I actually uh, recovering from COVID right now, but I'm all good. But uh, thanks so much for joining us, Mike. Patrick, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So I saw the press release. I, I saw the press conference that you guys had. It looks like you guys announced a ton of cool stuff at, at CES from the consumer to the fleet and uh, you know commercial installations. So do you want to go into to just an overview of what you guys uh, announced at CES? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Patrick. So we uh, actually announced seven new products here at CES, which is the, mo the largest product introduction uh, in the company's 13-year history. So we are very excited, very pumped up. It's been a tremendous show for us. And these seven new products cover a few different areas. So number one, uh, they cover two brand new residential charging stations. Uh, it's called the HQ200. And the HQ200 has some really unique features. Uh, it's very, very fast. It's a 50 amp residential charging station that can output 12 kilowatts. So that's about as fast as uh, a, a residential uh, charging station uh, can, can kind of push the limit. Uh, those chargers are also uh, bi-directional. So they support uh, they support plug and charge and also vehicle to grid. That's so, awesome. Really exciting, really exciting features in the residential stations. Uh, then we announced our Vision IQ200, which incorporates EV charging with visual advertising displays. We have our new MQ200, which is our solution for fleets across the country. And that is coupled with uh, our new software suite. So our new software suite includes a fleet management software for fleet depots, fleet managers, and drivers. And then on the consumer side, we're launching an entirely new network mid-year along with a new consumer app. So a ton of stuff that, that, that hit the plate. That's very cool. Of course, uh, we have a mach -E, so we're excited by the home chargers and the, uh, the HQ200 Advanced. That's the one that has like Wi-Fi connectivity. So in addition to vehicle to grid, it also has uh, like connections with Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri. It sounds like it's really cool and very it geared is. toward, you know, connectivity and making it easier for the consumer. Yeah, it's really an extension of the phenomenon of what's happening with smart home, right? So now my smart home extends into my garage and I have an EV charging station that is connected via Wi-Fi and I can do a whole host of things with that with that app interacting with my charging station. I can schedule charging events. I can set up reminders to myself to remember uh, to actually charge my vehicle. And I can understand the energy usage uh, of that electric vehicle as I charge it. So there's really Very some cool, cool stuff. And, and the vehicle to grid, of course, will require the car to support it as well. So like the Mach-E does not support yes, it, but correct. I know uh, the Ionic 5, I think, does. Yeah, so you're, you're right, Patrick. The vehicle needs to support it. If you do have a vehicle that supports vehicle to grid, you would be able to uh, plug the cable into the vehicle, utilize the app, and actually draw energy from the vehicle to your home in order to power your home. That, that's going to be very cool. I know like last year with the cold weather uh, power outages in Texas, there was a lot of talk about like, what would you do if you had an EV? Well, with stuff like this, that'd be awesome. Like you could power your home during a power outage. Right. Your car becomes a generator. That's awesome. So very cool. And then the, the, the Vision IQ 200, I thought that was really cool because the way I see it is there's going to be a lot of restaurants and travel plazas and stuff. And I... Oh, I see yeah. one in the background. Yeah, that, that looks like a really cool solution and a way for businesses to recoup some more cost of installing these type of chargers. Have you guys installed any of these yet or is this so brand this new? It's actually brand new. It's a prototype unit. It's the first time we've unveiled it. Uh, so this is, we're looking at a little bit later this year on production and deployment. So the, the unique aspect of it is that it combines Blink's uh, industry-leading speed in level two EV charging 
with our IQ200, which can support up to 19.2 kilowatts of power, coupled with two 30-inch LCD screens in order to enable advertising messages to play in a parking lot. Right. So, and, and I would imagine like at a shopping center, it could say like, you know, stop into restaurant, blah, and we're, we're running this special or check out the clothing store, those type of things. Is that, is that what yeah. you're envisioning? That's exactly it. Or maybe I'm at a warehouse club and I've parked in the parking lot. I'm charging my vehicle and all the specials for that warehouse club are rolling through on the LCD screen. It's, that sounds pretty smart. Like I, that, I, I did a survey a while ago and we were talking about what type of features we want to see at charging stations. And there was, a, there was some discussion and debate, like, would that be useful? And I think it'd be really useful. Like you pull in, you're, you're, you need a charge, you want to see what's going on in that local area, if there's any specials. And I think that sounds like a, a genius idea. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you guys are also uh, coming out with a 50 kilowatt wall charger as it's as it's called now why now you know everybody's always pushing for the 150 175 i know you guys offer a 175 kilowatt but this i thought was interesting because it sounds like it's going to be like a great solution where you don't need like you're not traveling you know on a highway and need 150 kilowatts this would be in a different type of scenario yeah that's exactly right patrick so keep in mind the the dc fast charging market uh, starts anywhere from about 22 kilowatts all the way up to 400 kilowatts. So there are a variety of price points that are available within DC fast charging. What makes this product really unique is a couple of things. One is obviously it is in an incredibly small footprint. So if you're familiar with DC fast chargers, they're typically in a refrigerator looking box. Yep. So, and for 50 kilowatt, this is the first 50 kilowatt unit that has been shrunk down and, and enabled to be hung on a wall. It can also be mounted to a pedestal. Uh, it supports simultaneous charging and it only weighs 200 pounds, which is half of what a normal DC fast charger That's awesome. would. Yeah. That sounds like that could be like a great, like middle ground for a lot of installations, especially in urban areas where you, you want something a bit faster than level two, but you don't need the 150 kilowatts. Um, yeah. It, Exactly. So think about it this way. Uh, a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger probably will run you somewhere around $60,000. This unit behind me here at 50 kilowatts is going to be well under $20,000 when we launch it in a few months. Wow. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Very, very different economics. Yeah. Because I think that's one of the things that people don't realize is... Uh, they just want to see the, the fast charging everywhere, but they don't realize the expense behind it and Correct. For businesses to put stuff like this in. It's, uh, you know, very cost prohibitive. If you're saying it can only be a 300 kilowatt charger. So I, I think like this, it's like, we're going to have like all a range of solutions that's going to be necessary to solve the charging problems. But, you know, we, we can envision this at a fast food restaurant or something where the dwell time's not quite as long, but you want, uh, to get as much charge as possible in that time in a, in a, in a reasonable price point. Yeah. Now that you mentioned, I hadn't even thought about this before, but like if I was traveling on the road and I stopped at say like a Chili's or a sit down restaurant, um, I don't necessarily want the fast charging. Cause like I would plug in and before the water was delivered to my table, it'd be time to move the car, but like a 50 exactly. kilowatt, like I could plug in and, you know, enjoy my exactly. meal. And when I'm done, it's done. Yep, exactly. And and the restaurant doesn't have to spend the extra cost for, for that charging. So that sounds really cool. Yeah, you save not only on the charger cost, but you also save on the installation cost as well. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Now, you guys are also going into the fleet management. And this is sort of, to me, like an underappreciated area. It seems like uh, charging at EVs with fleets is going to be like a huge area. And I think a huge benefit to a lot of different customers. And I, you know, when I first looked at it, I thought about fleets as, you know, somebody like Amazon that has a huge fleet, but it seems like you guys are targeting like the, the guy that has, you know, uh, or the, the man or woman that has a, a small Good business state. with, with six, yeah, with, uh, with like six vehicles and maybe they make three of them EVs and they can manage that fleet of three or expand it up to 20 or whatever. Yeah. Good point. So the, the products behind me are our new uh, MQ200 fleet chargers. So this is also a 50, uh, uh, a 50 amp charger, outputs 12 kilowatts, 
Uh, it has bi-directional built-in, plug and charge, but it also has cellular connectivity and, R and an RFID reader. So this is able to serve any size fleet. So whether it is a small municipal fleet or whether it is Amazon, these, these products are designed to be deployed at scale. And what couples with this and what we've, what we've deployed with this is our new fleet management software. So that is a cloud-based system that allows a fleet manager and a fleet driver not only to communicate, but to understand every aspect of vehicle charging, uh, route optimization, cost optimization uh, within, within the fleet platform. That's very cool. And I see somebody's pulling on the cable management back there. That's another yeah. cool feature. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is in action. So yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, like I said, it's like, uh, I, you know, I thought about fleets as being huge, but this is, I think this could be a huge cost savings, not only just to switch to EVs, but then to have the fleet management layered on top of it, you get a lot more efficiencies, like when you can see and manage everything at one central console. So that's, that sounds like it's going to be huge for small business owners once they see the benefit. No question. I can look at analytics by depot. I can look at them by vehicle. I can look at them by driver. So it's really a powerful system that gives me a ton of information in order to, to better manage my fleet of vehicles. So you know, just looking at everything, you guys have like a great portfolio from the consumer uh, to commercial installations to fleet. How are you guys getting out there, getting in front of customers, and what is the response? It's uh, you know, I heard one guy that I know that does uh, EV installations. He says that it's like it's ticking up and up. Like everybody that's building a new office building or comp whatever complex is like, we got to put in EV charging. So how is the response, and how are you guys getting out there in front of people? Yeah, it's one of my favorite questions, Patrick. So when I joined Blink about eighteen months ago, uh, we had about sixty-three employees at the company. Today, we have over 200, wow. and probably by mid-year, we're going to have 300. So you can imagine that our growth curve uh, is uh, in sync with, that, uh, with those hires, right? So uh, number one, we have an amazing product portfolio. Number two, we are the most flexible EV charging company uh, in the industry. What do I mean by that? It means that we not only have a whole range of hardware that we can offer someone, but more importantly... We have different business models to fit whatever a location is looking for. So an example is we have someone can buy equipment from us if they'd like to purchase it outright. They can subscribe to it in charging as a service for a monthly fee. We can do a co-investment model where the location brings the power to the parking spot. We install the equipment at no cost and we do a revenue share. Yeah. Or, or if the final one is if the location really just wants it as an amenity and they want someone else to manage and operate the entire thing from end to end, we will actually pay for the entire installation process as well as the charger. And we will own and operate that charging station as an amenity on that property. So no one else can do this. We're completely vertically integrated uh, between the hardware, the software uh, and design and manufacturing, et cetera. So that message is really starting to resonate and really the phone's ringing off the hook, to be honest. Very cool. We'll put your contact info down there, not yours personally, but for <laughs> Blink. And we'll, we'll you know, I, I'm excited by all the charging that's coming out and all the charging solutions. And I know that's one of the biggest obstacles to EV. So we will, you know, do whatever we can to promote Blink as, you know, other companies, competitors as well. But, you know, all of these solutions are very exciting to see. They really are, Patrick. Well, thank you very much. I know, um, you know, we have a lot of consumers that watch this. I know that your uh, products are already available on Amazon as well as direct, I believe. Do you have any other resellers that we should uh, list below as, as in our so description? We have, um, Zeb Society, Z-E-V Society is one. Uh, Rudy's Parts is another one. Uh, we have a few out there. We're adding more uh, literally every single day. We're working on some really big ones at the same time. Awesome. So everybody check the description. I'll put a link or I'll put a link to Blink Charging where you can find all of these resellers for the consumer products. And if you're interested in any of the other products, we'll have that contact info below. So thanks so much uh, for joining us, Mike. Maybe next year we'll be out there in person or we'll see you at the New York Auto Show or somewhere. So thanks again for joining us. Great. Thanks, Patrick. Take care. All right. Thanks.